In this video, I want to talk about G protein coupled receptors and second messengers and a very general idea and the sort of general scheme of it. So, we have a hormone, it's a polar hormone. It's going to bind on the cell surface of a particular receptor. That receptor is right here drawn in purple. Now, since we're talking about G protein coupled receptors, this purple protein here is specifically the G protein coupled receptor, GPCR. Now, why is it called that? Well, because attached to this G protein coupled receptor is this thing, which is a G protein. Now, this G protein has three subunits the alpha subunit, beta subunit, and gamma subunit. And initially, it has a GDP attached to its alpha subunit, and that's because it's in an inactive state. How do we activate it? Well, that's when this hormone comes in. So the hormone comes in and binds this receptor that it's specific for. That binding event triggers a conformational change in this G protein coupled receptor. That conformational change triggers the activation of this G protein. Now, How does that actually happen? Well, a GTP is, is, comes in and replaces that GDP. And the alpha subunit of the G protein leaves and travels down the membrane towards this thing here. So this is a G alpha subunit and it has, instead of having a GDP, it now has a GTP attached to it. So now it is active. And when it's active, it goes over to this blue thing here that I've drawn and it's embedded in the membrane. This thing is called an effector enzyme. Now, for different G protein coupled receptor cascades, the effector and effector enzyme, excuse me, I put effect enzyme, effector enzyme might be different. But essentially, what's supposed to happen is that once this G alpha subunit that's activated, once it's uh, attached or interacting with this effector enzyme, it'll activate this effector enzyme. Um, in addition, these two subunits, by the way, of the G protein stay back with this G protein coupled receptor. So once this effector enzyme is active, what it does is it creates second messengers. So second mes a second messenger or second messengers. Now those things trigger a, cel a certain cellular response. And that's the general scheme of a G protein coupled receptor. It's a little bit different from uh, for different cascades. But um, what sort of examples are there of different second messengers? One really, really common one is cyclic AMP, CAMP. Another uh, that we're going to talk about later is uh, IP3 and uh, DAG. Um, we'll talk about the pathways that these guys are involved in in later videos. I hope that brief overview was helpful. One last thing, I'm a tutor. If you live in Southern California, feel free to contact me via email at mufuniversity at gmail.com and see the description below for more details. Thanks for watching.